President Biden's approval rating is in the dumps right now, Stephanie. Um, what can you tell us about the latest poll out? So good morning, Jay. So there's a new poll out from NPR, PBS NewsHour, and Marist. And that poll shows President Biden's approval rating down at 39%, which is a low for him. And so the poll also looked at and asked Americans whether, you know, they think the president's first year in office has been a success or a failure. And only 39% put President Biden's first year in office as a success. 56% of respondents said President Biden's first year has been a failure or a major failure. Those are not good numbers for his first year in office. Now, President Biden has struggled a bit on some of his big campaign promises. He campaigned on ending the COVID-19 pandemic. And as we all know, we are not quite out of it yet. Americans seem to be confident that we are nearing the end of the pandemic, but we're not there yet. President Biden also campaigned on his foreign policy experience and his ability to work with other leaders around the world. And he has struggled there on a couple major issues. The Afghanistan withdrawal last summer did not go well for the White House or President Biden. And then now, of course, trying to deal with Russian President Vladimir Putin and Russia's aggression in Ukraine. One thing the president has succeeded at, though, is bringing our NATO allies together and bringing the world together in general to get, to put forward a united front against Russian President Vladimir Putin as he tries to take over Ukraine. Now, in tomorrow's State of the Union address, White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki said that is something bringing the world together to address and push back against Russia. That's something the president will address in his speech tomorrow night. Take a listen. There's no question uh, that in the State of the Union, uh, the American people and anybody watching around the world will hear the president talk about the efforts he has led over the past several months to build a global coalition to fight ag up against fight against the autocracy and the efforts of President Putin to invade a foreign country. That is certainly something that is present in all of our lives and certainly in the president's life in this moment. Now, the um NPR poll also asked, what's the top priority for Americans? And inflation was the overwhelming response. Inflation is hitting Americans hard across the country. It is hitting their pocketbooks. It's hitting family finances. And it's something that I think Americans want the president to do more. 38% said inflation was their top issue. All of the other issues that were given as options, Americans kind of on an equal footing for all of them, about 10, 11% on COVID-19, voting laws, foreign policy, and violent crime, whether any of those issues were considered their top priority. So all of these things, we'll have to wait and see what makes it into the president's speech tomorrow night. Again, that'll be at 9 p.m. His first State of the Union address being made from Capitol Hill. You'll be able to watch that live, of course, right here on Newsy. No, I'm sure the uh, the economic front, those issues are going to be front and center for his uh, big speech. Newsy political correspondent Stephanie Liebergen in D.C. for us. Thanks, Stephanie.